Alright guys, welcome back. So this week what we're going to be looking at is um, another highly requested tutorial on saving your game and loading your game. So here I've just created um, uh, possibly the best game anyone has ever made. Ever, actually. Um, so here is our menu to start with. Start, continue, and quit. Uh, continue doesn't do anything yet. That's where we'll be implementing our load game feature. Uh, but if we go to start right now, we'll see our very, very exciting level 1, where you play as this mysterious green circle, trying to find blue square. And then I do, and now I'm on level 2. That was very exciting. So here we go, about to reach level 3. Oh, oh, we're on level 3. Okay, things are getting stressful now. It's getting a bit difficult. But I think we can just about make it to level 4. And there we have it. We have completed the game. Now, because I'm really, really good, I was able to finish that game without, you know, with, with no real trouble at all, but you might get, say, to like level 2, level 3, and, I don't know, you might get stuck for there for a long time, and you might want to save your game and come back to it later. You know, you don't want to have to tackle those four very difficult levels all in one go. So what I'm going to teach you how to do today is um, how to make it so your player character automatically saves your progress um, as you go between these levels. Um, saves it out to a file that then when you um, start your game up again and uh, press continue you'll be able to start off from where you left off. So it's going to be a very bare bones um, auto save and continue system that you can then build on top of and expand however you want your game to work with saving and loading. Okay so the very first thing that we want to do is make it so that um, we save our progress as we carry on with our game. So at the start of every level we're going to want to save the fact that we've reached that level out to a file. Um, and later on we'll use that file to tell the game uh, where we'd gone up to when we hit continue. So our player object is what's seen on every single one of these levels. He's in every level. You could use like a persistent object or something as well. A bunch of different ways you could set this up. But for now I'm just going to use the player object um, to uh, actually save our game at the start of every level. So I'm going to add an event in here, I'm going to go to Other, uh, Room Start, and so this this code here will execute at the start um, of the room only once, not when the player is created, um, but, when, but when the level starts. So and now I'm going to go to our usual execute a piece of code, and what I'm going to type in here um, to start with is we're going to check to see if we already have a save file. So we're going to say if, open brackets, file exists, um, as you might guess, is all this is going to do is check to see if a certain file exists. Save.sav is what we're going to call our um, name of our save file. And if that's true, we're going to say file, delete, save.sav. So basically all we've done here is check to see if um, our save file currently exists, um, and if it does, we're deleting it. Um, I should probably explain where this this file, um, this will be a file that we'll create, and um, Game Maker by default is going to work in your, your app data um, directory that it will make for handling files, um, like external files for your game. Um, you can learn a ton more about how exactly how the file system works and how to save to what different locations you can save to on different platforms by simply pressing F1 and going to um, go to the index and type in like file system. It should bring you to a page that explains everything about um, the file system in Game Maker. But for now, all you need to know is um, uh, that this file exists in our, our app data, our local app data folder. Um, for our game and so I'm just making up the name of a file and that's the file that we're going to use to to write some text that will save the location of our player in our very exciting game. So the next line we want to do is we want to type var save file or something similar equals file underscore text underscore open underscore write bracket save dot sav close bracket semicolon so here we've just um, we've created a, uh, a variable called save file and we're going to use that to refer to um, the file that we're opening to write to um, so we're, we're opening um, save dot sav 
Now we've checked to see if it already exists, and if it did exist, then we've um, we've deleted it to get ready to overwrite it. Essentially, it's just an easy way of just saying you know auto save. So you know we check if the save already exists, uh, we get rid of it, and we save another one. You might want to do um, like you know like uh, are you sure you want to overwrite your saves or something? Depends exactly how your system is going to work. But here we're just going to auto save. We're going to automatically save over whatever our last save game was. So now that we've opened uh, this file to be um, written to, we're also going to create a, via a variable save room, and we're going to just set that equal to room, and room contains the um, the index of the the room that we're currently in. So it'll contain like over here, like level one, level two, level three, or level four. Um, and it just contains the index of the room. Then what we're going to do is we're going to type file text write real open bracket save file comma saved room so now what that does um, is it's going to take the file that we've already opened save file and simply write text into it and it's going to write the text uh, saved room uh, which is the variable that contains our, our, uh, our room index so it's just going to write our room index into this file simple as that and then all we need to do is go file, text, and just go close, oh, not close, close, save, file, semicolon. And that's really it for our uh, our really bare bones auto save system. So at the start of every room, it's going to say, uh, does this file exist? If it does already exist, uh, delete it. Um, then open the save file. Um, like create a new version of that save file uh, under the variable save file um, stick uh, our room name into a variable and write that variable into the save file really really simple and then just close the save file so that we free up that memory really is as simple as that and now you'll notice if we go to run our game if you keep an eye down here in the, the compile form if I go to start, you'll see down here, like, output file is uh, C users, Sean.js, app data, local, saving, save.sav. And if I go to the next level, you'll see it's done it again. Look at the start, start of the level, output file, and it's telling you that it's um, creating this file, which is very, very handy for debugging. So you can see exactly when your game is creating these files and where it's creating them as well. So as I said, it's in the, the local app data. Uh, the project name is saving, and that's why you know, it's local forward slash saving slash uh, save dot save. So now we have a save on level 4 that should contain the name of um, this room which is uh, level underscore 4. This is level 4. So we're going to close that now. So now what we need to do is write in um, our load game function. So in order to handle loading the game um, I've created this menu at the start of the game uh, with a continue option. Uh, if I go into object menu up here you see release enter um, if it's on continue, um, it's going to execute this script called scr underscore load game bracket bracket. Um, you can I mean you can set this up however you want, however you want to set up your menu. The point is um, eventually when whenever I want to load the game, I'm going to execute this script, um, which is scr underscore load game, which as you can see currently does absolutely nothing. And that's what we're about to change. So the first thing we want to do is we want to check to see that there is actually a save file present. So we want to say if file exists uh, save dot save bracket open bracket close bracket and then so this is where we want to put all the stuff. Um, for actually loading the game. Um, if the file doesn't exist, time else, then we can just do nothing. Yes, maybe you want to say, oh, there's no, uh, no file to load, or maybe you want to just start a new game or something. Maybe you want to do something else, but for now, I'm pretty happy with just the game doing nothing if we don't have any file to actually load. So, if we do have a file to load, however, what we then want to do is type var load file equals file underscore text underscore open underscore read this time instead of write so instead of opening a file in order to write something to it we're opening it in order to read from it 
and we're going to open save.sav since we've confirmed that exists and is our save file. The next thing we want to do is type bar uh, loaded room equals file text read real load file and now basically that's going to using the file that we've just opened for reading it's going to read its contents into this variable which is loaded room so now loaded room should contain everything that was contained in our save file which means if you remember what we saved to our save file was the name of the room that we're in so all we need to do now um, first of all we're just going to close this file so file because we don't need it anymore we've got the variable we need out of it file text close load file so we go on and then all we need to do quite simply is room go to loaded room and that should send us straight to the room that we've gotten out of our save file so as you remember last time we quit on level four so if I start the game up now and I go to continue you see, boom, we're on level 4. Now if I close the game, run the game again, start the game, I'm on level 1, I'm on level 2, I'm on level 3, and as you can see it, it's output the file, save each time, so we should be on level 3 now, so if I close the game, load the game, and I want to carry on with where I left off, go to continue, this is level 3. And you see it's as simple as that, works really really well for such a really very simple system dozens of different ways you can expand it there's loads and loads and loads to do with um, file writing and saving too loads of different things you can do but hopefully that is enough to get you started with um, a simple saving and loading system so yeah thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed that hope it was useful for you um, i'll include a link in the description so you can download this project um, so i mean there's a bunch of more things you might be able to get out of this like the little menu i set up at the start and you can explore that, copy it in your own game, get it going. Um, and I, yeah, I hope this was useful, and I'll catch you next time. See you guys.